Okay, cool. So, keep it where it's at. All right, so I can't really see the comments. I have the actual camera facing me. Um, I would like to do it the other way around, but I feel like the quality is always better on the other side of the lens, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically just run the program. Uh, we got about another hour, right? Uh, starting at 12.10, we'll end at 1.10. Um, but I wanna thank everybody for being here and just uh, wanting to get some knowledge, wanting to get some information. Um, shout out to Corey uh, for basically hooking this up, you know, and, and really making this happen. Um, I'm in, you're in my house, you're in my pad right now, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is basically go over some essentials that I feel, um, you know, maybe some of you are missing, some of you uh, don't know how to interpret. Um, at the same time, like things that help me progress into just a better listener, a better understander of foundation, the movements, the, the you know, mindset, mind state, like all these different things that help me understand um, this dance. You know, when it comes to popping, uh, it's a universal, it's a universal information. So you could use it with anything. Honestly, the concept behind the idea of how I listen to music, uh, how I interpret stuff, right? So. Um, in today's world, what I see is a lot of people, you know, when they pop, a, a lot of the questions I get asked is, you know, um, how do you pop? Uh, I get asked, you know, what, what's your, where's your mind frame at? Like, do you think about movements before you create them? So I get all types of questions, right? Um, and then I teach every Saturday. So a lot of these questions can be taught just by signing up for the class, um, trying it out. If it's for you, if it's if it's not, it's all good. But uh, a lot of what I do to kind of get myself prepared for, whether it be a session, whether it be a cipher, a competition, is I, I first get my mind right. You know, like I first get prepared mentally to understand where I am going. You know, and a lot of that has to flood out to everything else, the way I dress, how I feel, how I look, what I ate, what I drink, like all these things help me understand who I am. Uh, the more cleaner I eat, the more clear I feel, you know? So you gotta really think about these things before anything, you know what I mean? Take care of yourself, you know, get create that mental wealth, right? So you really wanna progress within your lifestyle and that's what this is. This is a lifestyle. This isn't just a nice little dance move I can teach you here and there. I live this, I love this, and I'm about this. You know what I'm saying? So um, I wanna give you that for your mind, you know, for your process and how you actually receive, you know, this next information, all right? So um, the concept of the one for me, right? This is something that I teach all the time. And I'm always gonna remind people what this feeling is, right? When we pop, when we actually Pop, boom, 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 da, ka, doom, da, ba, right? This is a choice. This is something I am choosing to do. And a lot of us forget that, that this is a freestyle dance. We think we have to look a certain way to pop a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna, I wanna show you the freedom and understanding this is my choice. The way I pop is because I choose to pop that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no super ultimate secret. It's really do or don't. Because that's the generation I learn from. You either do it or you don't. You know, you either have it or you don't. And there is that gray area of trying. You know, like, I don't have it, but I'm trying to get it. You know, I don't want it, but I want to get it, right? It's like these different things that kind of, you know, it's just information passed down to me that I'm passing to y'all. Um, but I don't have to be so strict with y'all. I don't have to be that person. I don't have to be that tough on you. Even though I wish I could be, but honestly, there's really no choice. There's really no point, not choice, but there's really no point. Popping is a choice. You're choosing to pop how hard you wanna pop. Why? Because you worked your ass off to get to that level. You know what I'm saying? So I worked my ass off to get to a certain level. But 
what I'm understanding is my journey, my journey to get to the level that I'm at, and I'm still growing, is something that I want to involve with you. I want to give to you. I want to give back to you because I feel we get caught up on all the cool shit and we really need to just enjoy it, you know, have fun with it, learn and progress within time, you know, but there is some kind of little, um, I'm not going to say they're like secret passages, but there's actually key elements that I think people overlook. They don't want to work hard enough to gain. And that is understanding the music, you know, the concept of the one. Being on the one is being on the boom. Understanding that first, boom. Then you have the two, clap. Boom, clap. Boom, clap. Boom, clap. Say that with your mouth. Boom, clap. Boom, clap. Boom, clap. Because we're going to be doing that a lot today, all right? A lot of the vocals is going to help you understand your timing and how to connect it all together, right? So, a lot of talking, this is a lot of information, all right? The breakdown, right? We're gonna first go ahead and only hit the boom, right? Basic idea. So if you really think about it, you're hearing the beat. Boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, right? Let me turn this up. getting into a form. I'm not showing you boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ha, right? I'm not even going into that yet. Why? Because popping, that's my choice. How I pop, I need to understand this shit first. I need to know where it's coming from. What muscles are being used? You know, what, what really stands out of my body? What body parts do I need to work on to develop an even stronger hit, right? A stronger pop, right? So, that's my first concept, is understanding the one, knowing when that's gonna come in. Let's change the song, right? Um, see if this is... Picking random music from SoundCloud, so forgive me. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 
a basic concept. Again, if you're asking questions, I can't see you. I cannot see your questions. Don't, like, I'm literally on the other side of the camera, all right? The quality is so much better, so mind you, I'm not trying, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see your questions, okay? So forgive me for that. I just feel the camera's way better on this side of the, of the phone, okay? Um, so just take notes, take this lesson, swallow it, eat it up, watch it again. It's going to be on here consistently so you can always come back to it and, and try this out again, all right? So I'm hitting the one. I'm only popping on the one, right? Boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha. How you interpret the one, whether it be a bar system, one, two, three, four. So boom, clap, boom, clap, or a full eight count. Boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, right? That's an eight count. Bar system, there's four beats in it. The one, the two, the one, the two. The one, the two, the three, the four. So the one and the three is basically what we're popping to, right? So if you hear me counting, that's, that's the numbers that you're gonna kind of understand like, oh, okay, so it's all these odd numbers that we're popping up, right? Now notice, I haven't even touched the two yet. Why? Because I'm choosing not to. I, this is my choice for this exercise, right? You have the choice, never forget that. You have the choice what to pop, how to pop, when to pop, you know, so why to pop, like, right? It's your choice. Now, this helps me understand my timing because right now I'm not even worried about footwork. I'm not worried about positioning yet, yet, but we are gonna get there, right? So, popping on the one. Now, let's try to pop both. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, the idea is really to understand like the focus, right? Am I having to move to pop? Do I wanna like actually groove while I'm popping, right? There's all these different things that we should be actually doing. If music moves you, then move with the music, right? But if you're already doing positions and patterns, this is something that you have taught yourself. This is something that maybe somebody taught you and you think this is the way, right? Honestly, there is no right or wrong. Honestly, there is no right or wrong right? Some people are going to tell you that's not it. Other people are going to say another thing. One, another person's going to say another thing. Me personally, I did the best I could. And honestly, as long as I was happy, I was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? So my idea is not to throw this imprisoned mindset on you. I'm not trying to throw you in a box, right? I'm trying to show you, you can control yourself. You can really give yourself that choice. All right. So we're going to pop, boom, pop, boom, pop, right? So we're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Not even moving yet. Let's see if we can just be consistent with that. All right, same beat. complex if your pops feel small if they feel like you know maybe you're too tense there you go you have now found a weakness you have now found a weakness you have now found what has been throwing you off you have now found what you can make a strength do you get what I'm saying you have found what you can make a strength remember that right so if your consistency is off, now you understand why. The choices you are making probably weren't comfortable for you, 
probably weren't the things that you thought you actually, your body is telling you, I can't do yet, yet, right? So we're gonna make this consistent. This is our pattern. This is our choice. I am choosing to pop. One, two, one, two, one, two. You get what I'm saying? I'm choosing that option, right? I don't need to be in formations yet. I don't need to be in positions to make this pop that much more effective, right? But I do have to sync those movements with my pop. Now, how do you do that? Let's start with the feet first, right? Let's start with the feet first. Um, really quick, can you see my feet from here? You give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you can't, thumbs down. If you can, thumbs up. I just want to be sure, like, I'm in a good spot. Nah? Yes? I think you should be able to see my feet. Hold on, let me use the little strap here to make sure. Oh, yeah, you can see my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're good. All right. Now, whether it be animation, whether it be book, whether it be just steps, you know, like your, your, where you place your feet, how you place your feet is so important. Why? Because my feet carry my big ass. Wherever I walk, my feet tell me. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand this is a connection. This is a connection to the mother. This is a connection to you. This is how you ground yourself and allow yourself to, uh, you know, caress Mother Earth here, right? So let's try this out, right? I'm gonna show you get just a simple pattern, okay? Now, if you wanna be robotic or flowy or smooth and your pop isn't the biggest or it is the biggest, try, test out your timing, right? We're gonna hit one, we're gonna step two, hit one, step two, right? So we're going boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, right? However you wanna step, make it yours, make it comfortable for yourself. I'm just gonna be doing me, that's it. This is no like, I'm not gonna be strict with y'all, all right? But just understand, this step can allow me to shift and then I can reset in any position. Don't get it twisted, there is more to this information, but I'm making it simple for y'all, all right? Boom, step, boom, step, boom, ka, boom, ka. Now with the vocals, I wanna hear that from you. I wanna be able to hear that even though I know your ass is on the other side of this camera, right? Boom, ha, 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 right? This is where the timing comes in, your consistency, all right? So we're gonna pop and step on the beat. All right, let me see if I can change the song.
right? These are random songs, y'all. I have to pull out from SoundCloud because if I play that original funk, this shit will just turn off, all right? So I'm just playing random music. So as you can see, timing. Timing is your thing, right? Timing needs to be in sequence. So if you're trying to get all these different movements, these different patterns, again, whether it be bug, um, a boogie feel, uh, animation, just the popping in general, right? How you step is really a key thing because it's your presentation. This is you basically walking into whatever position you wanna walk into, whatever idea you wanna walk into. That one is that dope reason to understand you can always continue, right? Meaning, if I can always continue, I can go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? I can follow through. I can follow through these steps. I can follow through this movement. And I can really just, you know, make it a drill, right? This is just a simple drill. This is just understanding timing and the concept that I gave you in the beginning, which is the one, right? Understanding that boom. Now, let's add the two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? Let's try to syncopate our, feet, our footwork with our pop, with our steps, right? With our motion, all right? All together with the music. That's what I meant, with the music, <laughs> all right? Here we go. So you just make this consistent. Now, again, these are my choices, y'all. This is my choice to do this shit. I'm popping on the one, I'm popping on the one and the two because I choose to. I've given myself the power back to know that I have that as a choice. That is my option to show y'all. I don't have to pop if I don't want to. I don't have to step if I don't want to. Right? So I need to understand this. I need to understand that I drilled this enough times to know I can be simple, easy, without an actual hard hit, right? I can be very subtle. Boom, ka, boom, ha, boom, ha, right? I can be very strong. Boom, 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 ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, right? Or I can be strong and subtle. Boom, ha. Boom, ha, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka. I can mix that shit up. Yep, right? I can mix that shit up. It doesn't always have to be the strongest. It doesn't always have to be the sharpest, right? I can find new patterns just practicing where I place my foot, you know? This helps me understand like different patterns of like just a step. Boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha. Whatever I choose. You get what I mean? It's my choice. So I want you to understand you have that choice. You get what I mean? Right? So to give yourself an understanding of foundation, there's a foundation of particular styles. Yes. There's a foundation of the EB style boogaloo. Foundation of bopping, foundation of strutting, foundation of Oakland Boogaloo. There's a lot of foundation understanding. But if you can't give yourself an understanding of foundation, all you're doing is copying somebody else. All you're doing is trying to be 
what you aren't, somebody else. So my thing is, why not be yourself? Understand foundation, understand these timings, you know, understand that when you pop, it's an actual decision. It's a choice that I make, that you make, right? So this is my lesson for y'all, to understand that, right? If we go super big and we, we start adding all these different elements and different styles, whether I'm waving or not, guess what? I can still pop, wave, pop, wave, pop, wave. It's not gonna change, get what I mean? So I want you guys to understand this. Take this, take this with you. Really learn it, all right? Really teach yourself your strengths, your weaknesses. Focus on your weaknesses. If you're always working on your strength, I'm gonna look at that weakness, find you in a battle, and smoke your ass because I can see it. You get what I mean? Try to be unpredictable. That's the best you can be. You get what I mean? Unpredictable, right? Why? Because you practice everything. You give yourself a whole layout of so much shit that you can play with, right? If you're trying to always work on eye candy, you're gonna get it. You know, but if you're in a cipher with people who are doing foundation and all you're bringing is eye candy, we can see that weakness, y'all. You ain't got that foundation. Because I guarantee you, us here with this foundation can give some eye candy. Get what I mean? Right? All right. So now we have this idea of the one popping on the one, right? We understand that we can pop both. This is our choice, right? Now, why do I focus on the one? Why? Because it's the rule of funk. And this dance is a funk dance. I'm not gonna say it's a funk style dance. That is not my interpretation of this dance. Why? Because I don't come from the funk generation, right? That's just my interpretation of it. It is a funk dance. The music was always there. We just decided to move to it. Right? Folks back then just decided to move to it and move to it a certain way. The music. We always got to give back to the music. Right? So being on the one is basically how you create your actual song. To actually, right then and there, to understand right when that one hits is when that moment of truth becomes a part of like everything. You connect to everything. If you know music, you understand that, you know? Um, but that's just my interpretation of understanding the one if you know timing right you can always catch the drop right every song has a transition moment right i want to show you guys this um okay we'll choose the same song right Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. showing you is I can change my style of, of movement right there on that one that transition moment where that music just kicks right in now not all music is this easy to see some music is hella staccato or, or on a whole different realm right we can be in la la land right so um, you know I live like down the street from the real la la land right so that is how I really learn to understand the music. If I keep my, my drills simple, clean, precise, and on point, now all I have to do is really listen. So this opens my ear to understand every one is that moment. 
So you can transition on the five, six, seven, eight, one, and really open up to waving. Use that last four count to really set up your process and you'll be ahead of it. You'll be ahead of the music. It's not about memory. It's not about like trying to always, you know, memorize every single song. Sometimes, honestly, I can't stand popping music, especially today's popping music. Not all of it is dope to me. When I hear these songs in competitions, I'm like, damn, this song sucks. Like, for real, because I'm so in love with live instruments. I'm so in love with the surprising factor. You know, that to me really helps, it really challenges me. Focusing on all these like beat kills and beat drops and I'm like trying to put my brain in that realm, man, that should just drive me crazy, you know? So, but which is cool for, for somebody who's young. So don't take that away from yourself, but that's just me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell you how to be, right? Some of you will say, yeah, that's true, man, that shit sucks. Some of you are like, well, why not? Exactly, why not? You know, why not memorize it? Then again, like I told you, if you don't have a solid foundation, you're just eye candy. You wanna understand how to bridge that gap. That's my goal for today's class, is pushing you, throwing, planting that seed so that you can bridge that gap. You know, you can actually make magical moments with like really dope ideas, dope music, dope sounds, uh, live instrumentals, like connect, you know, connect, like really expand yourself, all right? Um, cool, so we're at 1244 or 1245. Uh, we got about a good 25 minutes left, right? So, um, cool, that's the concept of the one, really. It's not, it's not crazy ass science, it's not, but that music again, Right? I want you to try this out now. We're gonna go from, we'll use the same song because I like that it transitions and like changes, right? So every eight count, every eight count, I want you to think of a different concept and idea, right? I'm just gonna throw random stuff out, but on that one where I'm popping one and stepping two, remember that, popping one, stepping two. This is a drill, this helps me listen to the music even better, all right? So we're gonna continue this, but every eight count, change a position, change a direction, right? Change a concept and idea, but keep your feet moving. Don't get stuck being here. Being here is comfort. You know, when you get to move around and really challenge yourself with different patterns and trying to see if your feet still match the music, that's a real motherfucking challenge. You know what I mean, right? So let's try this out, y'all. Popping the one, stepping on the two. If you pop twice, that's on you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And change. simplicity but I'm still focused I'm still knowing that I can go harder I can take it even easier right but obviously I want to be able to be talking <laughs> so I got to control a lot more just present it well because um, that's just my job right now right 
I gotta teach y'all something. So, every eight count, you can switch. Every two eight, you can switch. Every three eight, you can switch. Every four, you can switch. You can stay the same all throughout. But if you understand that concept of the one, you know for a fact, that's where I can create that magic moment. That's where I can really dive into a style. Because I know that five, six, my mind's already in that round. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, right? But I don't have to attack the shit. That's the thing. That's the one thing I think a lot of people have when it comes to this dance. Because we're popping and we're doing forceful movements, doesn't necessarily mean we're always on attack mode, you know? It may look like it because we pop hard. We use really big ass movements. Da, ooh, ha, ha. But that's just something maybe you taught yourself. Maybe I taught myself how to do in my comfort zone. Maybe your maximum is my comfort zone. You get what I mean? So there's never really like a roof or a floor. You can decide where you want to go. You can really make it yours. My best advice, don't be lazy, y'all. Don't be a lazy motherfucker. Because once you're lazy, I'm going to see it. And I can tell you haven't been working. I can tell that you're not, you know, really trying to actually appreciate this dance, you know? And that, to me, hurts my feelings because the elders that have showed me, all I can do is honor them. So all you can do is honor me. You get what I mean? So that don't don't offend me like that. Really, push yourself. Give yourself that like that coach. And if you need frantic on, on your shoulder, just put me right there. Like, get your ass up, homie. Get your ass up and practice, fool. Right? Do it. Do it. You got this, man. And woman. <laughs> All right. So the same thing with waving, right? I'm gonna give you guys this idea with waving since we got 20 minutes. Um, yeah, 20 minutes. I right, try to break this down. So the same idea being on the one, right? I'm gonna wave. Where's the wave gonna come from? Underneath my shoulders, right? So one, by the time I'm at my elbow, I should be at two. However, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four. Notice something. One, two, three, four. My foot is in motion. My foot allows me to really carry this wave forward and carry it back, right? If we get stagnant, we get used to waving like this, all I can see is nothing happening here. My, my choice, my decision is to keep my feet moving to keep my waves alive, right? Now I'm gonna be really strict. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why am I gonna be so basic? Because I need to learn this shit first. I need to really feel that I have it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why not make it forward and back, forward and back, right? If we make it more complex, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a complex, that's even more thought process going on. Why? Because once you start adding waves, where's your focus? Is it here or is it here? That's a good question, right? Where is your focus? Your feet or your waves or both? Of course it's both, but can you focus and do both? Let's see, let's see. Come on, Wi Fi. There we go. Six, seven, eight. Thank you.
I may have thrown you off with different directions. Again, all I'm doing is an exit wave. However I choose to do it, that's on me. However you choose to, to do it, that's on you, right? But my thing is, don't copy me. Understand the concept. Understand the rules behind what I'm doing, right? However beautiful this looks, make it your own. Make that shit your own, right? Own that motherfucker, right? So the idea is to exit wave. Where's the wave coming from? Here. Whoa. Whoa. Out. From my scapula, right? Up to the shoulder, out the elbow, out the hand. Now, let's switch it up. Let's see if we can go inward. So we're going one, two, three, four. 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 Right? It's gonna change. The feeling is not gonna be the same. That's why I drill this. That's why I drill every direction and every which way. Because I know it's not gonna feel the same. But my drill, I'm so militant with my mind, right? That I'm just gonna keep my steps basic but I wanna see if I can use my waves and go in different directions. But I'm keeping my feet moving, that's the key. That is the one biggest key. Stay on beat with that feet. Song slow, move slow. Why are you gonna move fast? Unless you're like, yeah, unless you're being playful, but this is a drill. This ain't a freestyle, right? So here we go, try this again. Inward waves, y'all. Inward waves. behind that the drill the lesson stay on beat stay on beat all right now let's add the in and the out together yeah the in and the out together however you choose whether it be both and then exit that's perfectly fine if it's one and then exit that's perfectly fine so we're going one in out four right one two three four right and it's gonna be a little bit faster why because when you're going here you're exiting here you're going here you're exiting here you're going here you're exiting here <laughs> you're going here you're exiting here so there's really no like time to pause right it's really consistent flow see if you can be consistent so you're waving in, out, wave in, out, wave in, out, wave in, out, right? Play with it. Have fun with that, yeah? 
All right. Shut your ass. <laughs> This is one concept. This is one concept, you know, like, and you're playing it in different variations, right? We started with the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Understanding how powerful that one can be, right? So I'm gonna take this last 10 minutes, this last 10 minutes, I'm just gonna kind of go with the lesson that we just had today, right? We're popping on the one, stepping on the two, right? Waving out with the one, right? Waving back on the three, four, right? So ultimately, I have so many choices. When you look at those, that number of eight, right? If you're visual, if you have that creativity in you, you can play with so many different rules. You can play with so much different concepts and timing. But what is solid? What is the most solid thing to follow within that eight where you can now play around? Good question, right? The one, the two, that's the pattern, right? If we make the sound even, without the sound even being there, we still have that I don't have to attack it now, right? If it's a boom clap, yeah, I can attack it because it's very easy to follow. But when that beat disappears, are you still in sequence? Yes or no? I am, I know I am. I can comfortably say that, right? But that's my choice. So I want that, I want you to understand that choice, all right? So now we're gonna play with <clears throat> the one, two for an eight count, and then the waves for an eight count. The one, two for an eight count, then the waves for an eight count right and i'm hoping i know this is live so people are like you know probably fast they're gonna end up fast forwarding to like a certain part and shit but i just want y'all to freestyle with it don't worry about what i'm doing don't worry about what the camera's doing understand this rule understand this concept that i'm giving you right it's just a tool it's a key so unlock those doors all right come on b bravo let's go
All right. Yeah, we live in the hood, so you hear gardeners left and right. Um, it's just performing for you, all right? Now, um, again, like, this is just one concept in different variations. On the one, being on the one, the rule of funk, man, and woman, right? Like, it's, I can't stress about it enough. Um, and I feel it's something that a lot of our new generation has disconnected from because, yeah, maybe there was a lot of elders that really kind of maybe threw shade on you, threw insecurities on you. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that guy. You know, I'm not here to throw insecurities your way and tell you you're doing something wrong. My thing is, I want you to find it. I want you to find it for yourself. I want you to fall in love with this dance over and over and over and over, <laughs> right? So let me get closer because I feel like these gardeners are gonna be ridiculous. Let me flip the camera. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, y'all, like I, I want you to fall in love with this dance over and over and over again. Like there's times where, you know, I've had disagreements with it. There's times where, you know, I may have been stuck and stagnant. Um, I've, I've been there too, you know, I was, I was a beginner and I still feel like I am. I still feel like I don't have it all yet. You know, the, the more ability my body gains, the more I just want to change. You know what I'm saying? The more I want to grow and be better with it. Um, there is a point where I will want to get better and make that one thing so crispy and clean and so beautiful that it's just, it, it becomes mine. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I want y'all to find that for yourselves. All right. I'm not going to go on here and give a crazier speech, but yeah, keep pushing y'all. Keep doing this. Understand the foundation. Um, give respects to the OGs, you know, give praise to all these influential people that are you know you know providing this information um right now on the top of my head i can think of like aj popping todd uh rashad um i even think castro's teaching uh myself is teaching um prince ali shez like i want to really these guys are giving out gems y'all because we live it you know what i'm saying and we miss it you know we miss jamming with y'all we miss being able to c connect in different ways so um let's 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 take 2021 let's end 2021 with like you know giving praise back to the dancers and the people that are really pushing out there um devious also has a class out there so there's a lot man there's a lot to choose from when it comes to these new these new generation dancers and i feel like you know we're trying to um honor our ogs and really give them that praise that you know they never got back in the day so yeah let's do it y'all i appreciate y'all for being here um, if you're interested on in my classes on every Saturday, uh, 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if y'all can't make it, it's all good. There will be classes like this available where I just do for free or whether it be through um, Infinite Force or any other platform. So, yeah, come get that. Come get that magic, y'all. All right. Love y'all. Be good. Uh, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. And I appreciate you motherfuckers. All right. Love y'all. Ha, 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 ha.